Hi, so this is my first screencast about using WeVideo in our classroom. Uh, so seventh graders are going to be making a newscast, a news show um, in the next couple weeks. And so I just wanted to show you a little bit of like just getting started with WeVideo. So first, let me show you two projects that I've made um, that I've used personally or professionally uh, using WeVideo to kind of, I want you to see what a final product looks like. Then I'm going to log into WeVideo and show you kind of what my editing screen looked like for that, for you to kind of connect that. So um, our school opened a new innovation center, and I'm going to show you this video that I made using WeVideo. <laughs> So these were photos that I took, and then this is a video I took with my iPhone. So here we have students at work in the new innovation center, building their robots. Some nice rocking music in the background. Okay, so it's a simple video. At one point, let me just show you the transition when I transition to the other space. Oh, did I actually walk down the stairs? Ah, see that transition? That's what I wanted to point out. Okay, simple, right? Music, video gets the point across. So let me show you, here is the the landing page when you go to WeVideo uh, and I'm going to log in and I'm going to log in with Google. Um, choosing my school account. And so here I am. Here is my dashboard. Um, another video project that I did, I did a couple years ago, I did with my different, uh, my other school's email. So I don't have that one to show, but um, I can show you that in a second. I did a little more fancy stuff. The video I just showed you, it's about three minutes long. I made that in one period. So just to kind of put it in context, something like that with not a lot of editing can be done pretty quickly. Um, so here is uh, this project. And if I click edit, um, I want to show you kind of what your landing screen looks like. So if you have used iMovie, you're going to recognize some of these same elements. So up in this right panel, we have um, this is my video as it looks now. This is kind of what would be playing on the screen. These are my tracks, my different layers that I'm putting on the video. And then these are all my different files. So for example, files, my media, here is where I uploaded the videos that I'd taken on my phone and the pictures, for some reason they kept showing up upside down. My phone was having a moment. Um, so I uploaded the graded logo and some photos of the Innovation Center entrance. And then here are the three videos that I spliced together. So that's in the my media. So this is a collaborative platform, which I love and is one of the reasons that I really love WeVideo it, because you and your group members can upload into a shared project, shared project media that can then be shared. So if someone else took the video, I can be editing it and adding it to my project as we go. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you that. Let me show you quickly another video that shows I, that I spent a little bit more time on um, and I added a little more effects in. But this was even done, I want to say three or four years ago, and there's even new features that have been added since then. So this is another video that I created using WeVideo. Again, notice I've got this effect in the background that came with WeVideo. I have text overlaid and I have music you can hear playing. Photo, which I overlaid some text onto, a little subtitle. Again, a screen in black with text. A little bit more text. Again, a photo of the entrance to the design den, which was the maker space, the innovation center, my old school. Another photo, if you notice, there's some shading around the edges. There's That's a theme you can add in to your photos. So it's got that sort of modern photography feel. Again, so I have photos with subtitles. And then again, more photos. I have a series of photos here with subtitles, and then I transition to some video clips. 
I had much more um, photos for this. So this was a good sort of, I got to choose how long I wanted each of these photos to play, whether or not it's going to have text as a subtitle. Here are the instructions we gave them to turn a physical drawing into a digital drawing. If you notice the music just changed, that track ran out, I just didn't want to play the same thing again. So a few more students working with photos. A, an etching clip is coming up soon. So this is a nice thing to do if you have a lot of photos and you want to sort of splice, splice together a slideshow. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I know it's getting a bit long, but it's coming. Here it comes. Time to etch, and now I set this up, and now I transition into the video. So I had photo, 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 some with subtitles, some without. Now we have video. And again, I, I, I put in some transitions here. I didn't need to show all of it. Just a clip. And then another transition into another clip of the video. And then transition into still photo. I didn't do any voiceover on this one. I don't know, voiceover sometimes it makes me sound your own voice, <laughs> be uncomfortable. So I did more of images with um, text overlaid on top. Okay, so that's just to give you a sense of kind of what's possible. I do not have the dashboard to show you for that because that was a project under, under a different email account. Um, I wonder if I can get the video to transfer that over to this one. Um, but uh, so that's sort of a, a basic tour of what some finished project products look like and what kind of the dashboard just looks like. This is a real, real easy intro. Honestly, I think this video is more for um, adults than for students who are using this tool because I'm not necessarily teaching you how to do it right off the bat. Uh, the next video I'll make will be a little bit more about how to start a new project um, and some of the new things that I'm discovering that are very useful with WeVideo. So thanks.